Today, we're introducing SH Scientific's Vertical Autoclaves. These are widely used in all sorts of industries that rely on pressurized steam for sterilization and disinfection. Autoclaves can sterilize laboratory glassware, like beakers, flasks, and bioreactors. They're also highly effective for plastic containers with growth media, such as agar, laboratory waste, and even grains, like the millet, rye berries, and corn used in mushroom cultivation. Here are our medium and large scale autoclaves of 60, 80, 100, and 150 liters. Each has a max operating temperature of 135 degrees Celsius or 275 degrees Fahrenheit at pressures up to 37 PSI. When it comes to safety features, all models include a plastic heat shield on the door to prevent burns from the hot metal surface. The 60, 80, and 100 liter variations also have a pressure sensing lock, which automatically keeps the door closed as long as the chamber is pressurized. Our autoclaves are full of modern, technical features for ease of use. For instance, they're equipped with an advanced digital PID controller for time and temperature settings, three different operation ending modes, automatic vacuum prevention, a user-friendly pressure gaze with a PSI readout, a main power supply and current leak breaker switch, a manual steam release valve, also known as a pressure normalizing valve, on the right side, a steam collection bottle, and a water drain valve on the left side. Underneath, four caster wheels with brakes make it a cinch to install and position your SH autoclave anywhere with a 220 volt electrical supply. On the 60, 80, and 100 liter models, simply turn the handle counterclockwise to open the door. Inside are two wire baskets and one heater cover. You'll also find heaters, a water level sensor, and a temperature sensor on the bottom of the chamber. Please make sure to only use distilled, deionized, or reverse osmosis and make sure the water level sensor is fully submerged. Note that the door on the 150 liter model closes with bolts and a fastening bar. These are extremely strong and they fit precisely, so please don't fasten them too aggressively. Now that you've added water and shut the door, it's time to set the controller. Turn on the main power switch on the right side. You'll see both the current temperature and the operating temperature. The unit here is Fahrenheit, but you can change it to Celsius if you prefer. Next, press and hold the mode button for three seconds. Then use the arrow buttons to select the operating temperature. I selected 249.8 Fahrenheit, which is 121 Celsius. Press mode once again to enter that selection. Then press mode a second time to go into time settings. The unit here is hours and minutes, with a max of 99 hours and 59 minutes, but I've selected 2 hours and 15 minutes. Just like before, press the mode button once to enter the selection and go into beep settings, which will tell the autoclave whether to alert you at the end of the sterilization cycle. The unit here is seconds, and I've selected 10 seconds for now. Then you can choose an ending mode of A, B, or C. I'll explain what these mean a little bit later. For now, press mode to go into standby, then press the power button to start the autoclave. On means the unit is working. Out means the heater is working. A means you can open the door. And P for prohibited means you should not open the door. Meanwhile, the temperature you set will keep blinking until it reaches it. You can monitor the autoclave's operating status as it runs. Press the AT button to see the ratio of heater output in percentage. And press AT again to see the time remaining in the sterilization cycle. If temperature ramping or maintenance seem abnormal or unexpected, then press and hold AT for 5 seconds to continue auto-tuning. This will kick off some sophisticated heater output optimization that improves temperature uniformity and minimizes fluctuation. Again, 
You only need to run auto-tuning if temperature behavior seems out of the ordinary. Now, let's take a closer look at what ending modes A, B, and C will do at the end of the sterilization time. Ending mode A will immediately vent the steam, sound a beep, and display end. This is a nice setting for glassware, for instance. Ending mode B will hold the steam until the chamber has cooled naturally to 176 Fahrenheit or 80 Celsius. At that point, it will vent the steam and display end. This mode is nice for sterilizing polypropylene grain bags. Ending mode C will immediately vent the steam, but will not display end until the chamber has cooled naturally to 176 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 Celsius. Finally, I mentioned the manual steam release valve a bit earlier. It lets you carefully reduce the pressure anytime you want, regardless of the ending mode. For instance, Releasing steam too rapidly may cause grain bags to inflate and rupture. But with the manual release valve, you can lower the pressure very gradually as soon as sterilization ends and easily unload your grain bags without damaging them. Thanks for watching, and on behalf of the whole SH team, we look forward to being of service.